Okay. okay. Ladies and gentlemen from the fourth estate, this is a press statement by the Western PG Caucus uh, Mulembe Nation. We members of parliament caucusing as Western Parliamentary Group held our meeting today at Fairview Hotel, noting that the 13th parliament has taken shape, acknowledging that coalitions have chosen their leadership Realizing that positions were shared based on communities, supporting the need for cohesion and integration, we have resolved as follows. Number one, the community elected leaders will from today speak in one voice irrespective of party affiliations. That the Azimio coalition has not accommodated the Luya community in the House leadership of both the Senate and the National Assembly. That the Luya community was shortchanged in the East African Legislative Assembly elections by both the Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio coalitions. Out of nine positions, it's only the Luya community that doesn't have a single position in the Yala. Number four, that the case against Honorable John Waluke MP for Sirisia constituency is politically instigated and incarceration aimed at the demeaning the community of Mulembe Nation. That the Azimio coalition acted dishonestly in proposing names to the Parliamentary Service Commission by not including the name of Honorable John Waluke in the list well aware that he had received a letter nominated him from the Jubilee Party that the community vehemently opposes the government's decision to import genetically modified organism, GMO maize. We confirm that the region has witnessed surplus maize harvest in Transoya, Bungoma, Kakamega, and other counties, which has not been sold off. The caucus confirms that the community farmers will suffer irreparable damage if the government proceeds to import maize, our people will lose livelihoods as well as their health. Consequently, the caucus makes the following demands. Number one, the Azimio coalition reinstates one Honorable John Waluke to Parliamentary Service Commission. Number two, the case against John Waluke be withdrawn and be dealt with in the context of amnesty extended to all those facing corruption cases that of the Deputy President Rigade Gashagwa, the Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture, Honorable Mithika Linturi, and the Cabinet Secretary for Public Service, Honorable Aisha Juma, among others. Number three, that the Azimio coalition takes remedial action in House leadership position by being inclusive. And lastly, that going forward, all engagements with any political coalition must be through the caucus and must explicitly identify what is it for us as a Mulembe nation. I will allow the members of the caucus. All you have calibers read here is a result of intense discussion across parties. As you can see, you can see people from Kenya Kwanzaa. You can see people from uh, Azmio. In this Mulembe caucus, there are no parties. The only party existing here is called Mulembe Interest. And, and we are very clear. So those who are even working, I've seen some people try to call others, uh, call me wanted to find out what we were discussing this is what we are discussing <laughs> that we can no longer be a number an arithmetic to be used for pe our brothers here the other day when we were doing uh, they betrayed us we agree this when they reach there they vote for only two people or one person uh -uh. Punda mefanya nini? Uh, on the question of the gmos we in western kenya have had a very long-standing fight between traders of uh, sugar and the farmers of sugarcane. 
And as I have said previously, unfortunately for us as farmers of sugarcane, we lost that war. Now they want to finish us completely. They have targeted another cash crop that we the Mlembe people produce, and that is maize. Now the traders are coming for maize farmers, and I want to assure them that this time around they shall not succeed because we shall stand with the farmers. This is a matter that has no political affiliation. I stand with my brother, the Senator for Nandi, Senator Chirarge, in opposing the importation of any maize, not just GMO, any maize. Because as has been said here, we are in the harvesting season in most regions in, uh, in Western Kenya and in the North Rift, and that you bringing in maize at this particular point in time is actually a declaration of war on all people who farm maize in this country. And we are saying that we will stand with those people. Number two, they say that what is good for the goose is good for the gander. What is good for Honorable Aisha Jumwa and Mithika Linturi must be good for Honorable Waluke. I think Waluke's only crime is that he's a lawyer. Mm. Because we, got, we don't see any amnesty being extended to uh, people from Western Kenya. So we are saying that if it indeed it was okay for the charges against other people to be dropped, then it must be okay for the charges against Honorable Bowaluke uh, to be dropped as well. Finally, if you look at the leadership of parliament in its entirety, from the National Assembly to the Senate, all the positions were given out in the Azimio coalition to people from other regions. It is as if we are being told that we are not leaders. Some of us have led even serious political parties for the first five years. Then uh, a political party that has membership of almost five million people. If you are telling me that Sifuna cannot be the leader of only 20 people in the Senate, what are you telling me? If I can be a leader of a party of five million people, how can I not be able to lead 20 people in the Senate? So we are saying that in, in the event that uh, uh, people want to take this Mulembe nation seriously going forward, then they must review the leadership in the House so that it is representative of our stake also in this particular coalition. I thank you.